Eh, the breath of life. We can live at least weeks without food, days without water, minutes without oxygen. But with air, we can die in five minutes. The air that is around us is 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen. And we have our atmosphere to sustain our day-to-day -day living. Air is purified in different things through lightning, through thunder, through waterfalls, through the rainfall itself and the sunshine. We have pollution around us these days through the vehicles that we drive, fumes around us, fire, and some well-known symptoms of air pollution are feeling dizzy, burning eyes, hay fever, asthma, coughing, and even sometimes choking. We should use precautions in terms of the air. Things like making sure that we avoid polluting the environment, we avoid uh, living in houses where there is dust, we clean up um, the rooms where we are in, we make sure we are wearing loose fitting clothes because tight fitting clothes affects our breathing, we make sure that we are eating food that is not greasy or too much fat, so that we improve the movement of the blood and carrying capacity of red blood cells to carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. We should also open windows or doors whenever we are indoors to allow the free flow of air. We should also try and make sure that we have plants around us that are supplying us with fresh oxygen as we breathe. And it's also important to make sure that we drink sufficient water so that we are breathing well. It's also important that when we are burning gas or we are using gas indoors, we should make sure that our doors or windows are open and we are using safety precautions for that. When we are, during winter, when we are using fire or heaters, we should also make sure that the areas we are in are aerated as well. It's also important to make sure that the rooms that we use do not have mold or dust. In dampy and mold areas, especially affects people who've got allergies, people who've got asthma, people who've got problems like hay fever. We need to make sure that our air around us is clean. We can also use exercise as an opportunity to get outside to get fresh air and sunshine. It's also important for those who have troubles uh, with pollution, especially in congested cities, that they should move to areas that are less congested or countryside uh, areas or go for vacation more often to get a good nice fresh air along the beach on the side of the forest or in the jungle itself we should also have um, circulating air around us whether in offices or at home so house plants are important for this we can actually uh, exchange oxygen and we give them carbon dioxide in return as we keep them indoors when we sleep we can actually crack our window open but sometimes it's not good for security reasons. So be careful on that one. So air is very good for our day-to-day -day living. Air is so important that it's critical that we need to ban indoor smoking. And if you're smoking, please quit. And eating protective uh, foods like your grapes, like your, your fruits, your vegetables, is important to revitalize your lungs so that you can absorb enough oxygen in the process of breathing and these are the things that are also important to note that when we sit upright or straight we increase the amount of oxygen that we breathe in so it's important to have a good posture when breathing or when sitting uh, the last but not least is it's also important to note that alcohol depresses the breathing capacity of the lungs and impairs circulation in return but drinking water actually improves your lung capacity. It also improves um, the amount of oxygen that you're absorbing. So we should breathe 
well do deep breathing exercise and make sure you're breathing uh, properly and taking enough oxygen for life for air is life <music>